We begin with Power City. New tonight, an offer is in. ExxonMobil has amended its contract offer for locked out union workers. It's been a long time coming. The lockout started nearly five months ago. The company says this offer contains changes that the union previously expressed interest in. But will it be enough to end all this? 12 News reporter Amelia White sat down with the union rep to find out tonight. She's live here at 10. Jordan, this new proposal follows 50 meetings this year between the union and the plant, and union reps aren't exactly thrilled with the company's proposal. For the first time since the lockout. The offer is 40 pages long. ExxonMobil has made an amended offer for the United Steel Workers. So it covers a lot of detail, a lot of different proposals. United Steel Worker International Staff Rep Brian Gross says they're not quite yet calling this offer a major movement. There's still some, some big changes that are part of their new proposal um, that we consider negatives. Gross says their core values remain job security, safety, and seniority protection. But in the end, it still costs us nine jobs for us to get that language. So um, the seniority protection language was really more of, they're, they're calling it a move, we're calling it more clarification of their, of their original proposal. ExxonMobil released a statement to 12 News saying the amended offer provides further support to our represented employees' concerns about security and seniority. Not all, it's not, it's not everything that, you know, Exxon's making it out to be that they made big moves. They're still, it's still very costly to our membership. ExxonMobil says it's offering a $500 ratification bonus to all union workers if the offer is ratified by November 1st. But Gross says he doesn't like it. You know, the $500 ratification bonus is kind of a slap in the face at this point, right? Been out of work for six months. Gross says at the end of the day, the goal is to end the lockout. We want to get our, our members back to work. You know, we that's been our goal from the get-go. United Steel workers have until November 1st to accept the offer. And Gross tells me they're going, they plan to take the next few weeks to really take a good look at this offer. I'm live tonight in Beaumont. Amelia White, 12 News.